Hey, oop. the camera. Oh, hey, YouTube Pack community. <laughs> See that my my stubble starting to come back a little bit. I thought about shaving again, maybe keeping it clean for a little bit, but this kid, they're scared of me, and they don't know. They don't know the clean shaven dad that. They've always seen me with facial hair, so. My boy won't even give me a kiss goodnight anymore because he's like. But then he saw that, he, he noticed that my mustache coming back. And I was like, can you give me a kiss now? And he's like, yeah. He gives me a kiss and he goes, tells mom he's not scared of my mustache anymore or something like that. It was pretty funny. Kids are fun. <clears throat> but uh thought I'd do a quick little review this is the last blend that I am going to do from the Diablo that I got from Alex uh, a subscriber or uh, he watches a lot of videos I, I believe but he subscribed to me and sent me a box of a couple three four tobaccos and a cigar and I had gone through and I did my thoughts on all of them and paired them with the beer and so this is the last one um, definitely probably my favorite out of the four one it's a non-aromatic and it's just really a, it's, a, it's a solid English it's a English luxury I'm guessing it's from Peter Stuckerby. But uh, I think I smoked some a, a couple weeks ago when he first sent this to me. And I already kind of realized that it was probably my favorite out of the, out of the four he sent. The other three were uh, Hazelnut, Angel Food and Butter Rum. And those really all tasted pretty good for being like your basic aromatic flavors. Tongue bite wasn't too bad, but I think the one that I liked the most out of all uh, out of those three were was probably the I want to say the Angel Food Cake because it smelled really, really good. Like, it smelled just like Angel Food Cake. But the, um, it didn't, the taste wasn't there. I mean, you can kind of taste it a little bit, like on the retro hill, but it wasn't, like, in your face Angel Food Cake. So, I'd be really interested in trying another blend like that. That it smells like Angel Food Cake and maybe has a little bit more flavor. Maybe even find like a, a strawberry tobacco because, you know, that those those like syrupy strawberries you pour over the like strawberry shortcake. I think that's how you get angel. I think that's how you get that angel food cake and syrups and strawberry strawberry syrup and stuff. I think that's how you get strawberry shortcake, but I don't know. But yeah, the um. English Luxury, it's a great basic English blend. Um, gives you a good idea of what Latakia tastes like. It's uh, real smoky and kind of creamy. And a little sweet. So I'm not sure exactly what all is in this blend. But definitely Latakia. I can get a little pepper, or not pepper, like spice, so probably... A little bit of Perique. And then that sweetness is probably either like Virginia or maybe some Cavendish. But it's a tasty blend. Smoking it out of my one and only Peterson with the uh, P lip. I'm trying to focus it, but not, it's really not focusing. 
This is like a kind of like a pot billiard kind of shape. Uh, rusticated all around. Has a silver band. Um, a little discolored. Kind of an old pipe. Picked it up from a buddy for like I think 40 bucks, which is when I think about it now, it's kind of steep. I remember I had to do some work on the stem. I heat up the tenon, kind of bevel it out with a pencil. That way I could uh, plug it so loose. Because it was like loose, like it was, you could hold it like this, and the bowl would probably just fall. And then when he reamed the bowl, he kind of gouged the inside of it a little bit so 40 bucks might have been a little bit much for this pipe but it smokes all right i uh don't smoke it very often just because the pee look kind of messes with me a little bit but most of my pipes that are my ro rotation right now are kind of giving them too much love right now so i gotta start adding some more pipes to my rotation and let the other ones rest a little bit which I've had like, you know, a shit ton of pipes, but not all of them are my, you know, some of them are, I only smoke once a year or on special occasions. And I got some that are like my workhorse pipes that I just smoke, you know, at least every other day. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, so I forgot. The beer. I picked this up thinking it was a pumpkin beer. That is, it says Jolly Pumpkin um, Artisan Ales. So Jolly Pumpkin is actually the brewery. The name of the beer is Bombier. I don't know how you pronounce that, but. I thought I saw Jolly Pumpkin, kind of an orange can, so I figured it was a, a pumpkin ale. And when I first tried it, I was like, this is, does not taste like pumpkin at all. <laughs> and, uh, because it's not, it's just, uh, that's just the name of the brewery. But it's a, um, a tart <coughs> with a tasty balance of malt, hops, and yeast. And it's definitely a tart. Didn't expect it to be. The tart, but like the um, <clears throat> that that sour and the hops are like just blend in together and just hit you in the face. So that's kind of it's it's interesting beer. Um, and then on the finish, it's real. I get like kind of orange an orange peel. But it's um, not a bad, I think it'd be a good summer beer. Um, so I might give this one another shot when it's uh, springtime, summertime next year. If I can, if I see, if I, if I, uh, see it again, I'll, I'll probably pick it up. <clears throat> they can come in four packs. But yeah, um, that's really... All I have is uh, another uh, another video of my thoughts on this uh, beer and uh, tobacco. But um, yeah, English luxury, not not too bad. It's a, might have to look up real quick. Hang on, let me see. Okay, so I searched real quick on tobacco reviews. And, uh, typed in English Luxury, Peter Stuggle be picked up, or came up, so I got that part right. Um, I was almost right on the, 
on the tobacco contents. <clears throat> so, Black Cavendish, Burley, Latakia, and Virginia. I think I mentioned all those. I didn't mention Burley. I mentioned Farid instead. So, but that's kind of cool. It tells me that my my palate's getting a little bit more refined. I can pick pick and pick out the uh, tobaccos and flavors. So that's kind of exciting. It's a ribbon cut. I've been using uh, tobacco reviews a lot more lately because I've been. I'll show you a different video, but I've been organizing my cellar and kind of going through tobacco reviews and putting what kind of cut it is, what kind of tobaccos are in it, and I'll show you the whole the thing at another, another video. It's going to be a little bit long, so anyways, thanks for watching. Got kids coming out there, so see you later.